Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jazby's 8-box NBA bubble basketball mixer with a Durant giveaway right here. That's pretty good. Pretty nice stuff. Um, a lot of high-end boxes in here. At the end of the break, we'll re-randomize everybody's names and then someone's going to have a chance at that $1,100 plus uh, Kevin Durant rookie card. Pretty nice. There are the uh, boxes involved right here. We've got Philadelphia... Washington in the fourth quarter, six and a half minutes, 6.55 left. And the uh, Sixers up 89-83 on the Wizards. We'll be watching that game while we're doing this break. Big thanks to all of these folks right here. Congrats to the winners of spots right here, and thanks to the people who bought spots straight up. I appreciate that. All 30 teams are in. And let's roll it. Let's randomize it three and a four, seven times for each list. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Josh Zetz, who won two spots in that cello break, down to Asa. So let's see if he gets some nice teams, too. All right, three and a four, seven times for the list of teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got the Bulls. Nice, down to the Cavs. With all sorts of different years in this mixer, and just the quality of basketball these days, in the hobby especially, a lot of opportunities to get a lot of good teams. All right, Josh with the Bulls, Ryan H with the Raptors, Josh with the Knicks, Nick with the Thunder, Michael with the Heat, John McCall with the Trailblazers, Derek with my Lakers, Tice with the Bucks, Zach Paul with the Pels, Robert with the Suns, Sun Min with the uh, Brooklyn Nets, Mike with the Pacers, Ryan Gomez with the Clippers, Sean with the Hornets, Scott with the uh, Hawks, Christian with the Magic, Daniel with the Wizards, Mike, or sorry, Matt with the Sixers, Ryan H with the Spurs, Kevin with the Timberwolves, Zach Paul with the Rockets, Nick with the Nuggets, Zachary G with the Celtics, Ameris, you have the Pistons, Christian with the Kings, Colin with the Jazz, Ryan S with the Warriors, Adam Kelly with the Mavs, Dylan with the Grizz, Asa with the Cavs. So a nice group of teams all over the place here. All right, I'm going to sort by column B. And I am uh, going to pause the video. When I pause the video, we're going to allow for a little bit of trading time. And when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. And then we'll do the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. A lot of trade chatter, but unfortunately, no deals were done. It's all good. Here on a Wednesday the 5th, our 8-box bubble basketball mixer. And we've got two minutes left in the uh, Sixers-Wizards game. Here's the Durant we're giving away at the end. We'll re-randomize those names. Someone's going to get this. Uh, if there's any points, points will be second on the list. So this will be first name. Points will be the second name as one lot. All right, let's, uh, let's actually get this out of the way first. 17-18. Hoops right here. Maybe this way. Get all these lined up the right way here. Sixers up 196. Who are who have been the the surprises of the bubble since the restart? Who have the players been? T.J. Warren jumps out at, at, at us, right? The former Suns guy. So dust off your T.J. Warren rookie card, Suns edition. Who else? All right, Ryan Gomez saying Michael Porter Jr. seems to be breaking out a little bit. That's good. Hachimura just hit a nice corner three a couple minutes ago before we came back from the trade window. Thomas Bryant has 19 and 10 already, 19.10 rebounds. So dust off your Thomas Bryant cards. The Raptors have been looking good, yeah. The Heat are sleepers is Daniel Ruiz. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm on the heat. I've got a little financial interest in the future of the heat. I have, I have a little financial interest in the heat at plus 1,800 to win the East. Now, it's most likely going to be the Bucks, right? Maybe the Raptors. But I think if there's a good, if there's a good sleeper candidate, I agree with you. Could be my and I and I placed this a, a little while back, so those lines may be completely different now. But a couple months ago, I got Miami at plus eighteen hundred. Minute left now. Sixers haven't quite closed this out yet. Ah, but a turnover from the Wizards. Jaron Jackson Jr. had a hot restart, but he he got a little meniscus tear in the knee, something like that. So I think they're just gonna take him out, take him out for the season. I was listening to uh, Bill Simmons' podcast the other night, and I thought he made a great point about the the restart with the way the court is set up, without without the cameramen and women that are under the baskets and without fans lined up right against the court. Have you noticed that, uh, have you noticed that there are, uh, these players are, are, are gunning harder towards the sidelines to, to die for loose balls and stuff? I think there's been a lot more aggressive plays. I think people, I think players are going harder to the basket. So Bill Simmons made that point, and then I and then I looked it up, and then I started watching games a little more closely, like specifically looking for those kind of type of plays, and I was like, yeah, I think he's right. I think these guys are like going harder to the basket, knowing they're not gonna like land on on cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rudex, I I agree, Joe, and I kind of like it. I do too. I feel like players are are, are going harder toward the sign because they know they're not gonna have to leapfrog like a bunch of rich people in the first couple rows, right? Concessions people and all that sort of stuff. It's not crowded, and I feel like it's it's opened the game up just a tiny little bit. I wonder if that's something that, that the NBA is going to look at next year or for the next upcoming season. I wonder if they're going to be like, hmm, should we move those camera people out of the way? At least. I don't know if they're going to move those seats. I don't think the owners are going to want that. But at least with the camera people, they might, they may move them a little bit, a little bit away from the, from the stanchions. Maybe open up that backboard, that backcourt area a little bit better, the under the hoop area a little bit more. Yeah, it always felt like they were a little too close to the, to the court anyway, right? And isn't camera technology such that with the right lens, it doesn't matter, I guess? Or aren't we at, isn't, isn't this 2020? Plexiglass barriers for, for the courts? Brad, I'm not sure what, what, you, what you're saying. Around the entire court? That doesn't make sense at all. Um, that defeats the purpose of the... I guess it could look like a hockey rink. That defeats the I think you just need to slide the, the photographers back. And open up some space. And I, th I, think, I, think, they'd be, I think they'd be good. And I think that might open it up. I like like look, look at this play right here. The guys diving toward the basket and getting some room. All right. So, all right, here we go. Finally, open up all those packs. Here we go. Um, this is gonna ship these zero gravity inserts. Uh, Vet commons won't ship. All these rookie cards, of course, will ship. 
The only vet commons that uh, will ship are Giannis vet base, uh, second year Luka Doncic cards, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant. These are an insert, so these career tributes will, will ship. R.I.P. Kobe Bryant. There he is, more. Mike Conley, the 25. There's Shaq right there. LeBron James, Cavs edition. There's a rookie, Donovan Mitchell. That's nice. Tyler Eulis to 125. Was NFL looking to get rid of the first eight rows of seats this fall? I don't know if it makes sense to the NFL. There's already so much room between the where the players are lined up on the sidelines, and there's still room, and then there's seats. To remove eight more seats after that, that doesn't make as much sense for, uh, for the NFL. I don't know who's proposing that idea, but I don't know. To me, it doesn't make sense. Basketball makes a lot of sense. They're, they're those, again, I don't, I don't know if owners are going to want those premium seats to be moved around, so I doubt that's going to happen, but I could see them moving camera people back a little bit. I think which would make a lot of sense. You can make it a player safety issue too. And be like, hey, it's player safety. But I think it just makes those under the basket plays a little more exciting. You know, players driving harder to the basket too, knowing that they have a little extra room to land on an aggressive play. Yeah, Ryan Essing, Ben Simmons' knee does not look good, yeah. That's going to that's gonna be, it's gonna be a storyline for sure. Look, apparently refs, I, I have not noticed this just, I have not noticed this all. This is another thing I heard from... Not only the Ben Simmons podcast, or Ben Simmons, Bill Simmons podcast, but um, other podcasts have pointed this out too. Refs apparently are uh, are teeing up guys a little bit more because I guess now they can they can hear they can hear like a player maybe mfing the ref from the other end of the court. Maybe during fan, with fan noise, refs not going to hear it, but maybe the refs are hearing it now. And apparently there have been some games where some guys get teed up a little a little too quickly from some sensitive refs. Andrew Wiggins to 125. So yeah, so guys are being teed up a little bit more often. So that's just interesting things that are happening in in the bubble. We're in the first box of our uh, eight box NBA bubble basketball mixer, ladies and gentlemen. So we're getting there. On a similar note, Rune Deck saying, have you seen the ref mics are on during VAR reviews for MLS? No, I did not see that actually. In fact, I think we have a semifinal MLS game on tonight, which I gotta, what time is it? It's at five o'clock, which I kind of want to half watch. Brandon Ingram to 125. Didn't they do that with XFL? Didn't they have didn't they have uh, replay reviews and the refs were mic'd up and they were talking it out? Why not do that? What I wonder what the wouldn't you want to have that kind of transparency? And I think that just maybe maybe gives 
give some people a little more sympathy for the refs or just get get a little better understanding of like, hey, you know, that that's how they're looking at plays and whatnot. Thomas Bryant, two double, two or three double doubles in a row. He used to be a Laker. Sixers beat the uh, Washington Wizards. It might be a Ben Simmons issue. Lakers, that will be for Derek Dean. We got a nice Bam out of bio for the Heat. Michael with Miami. Almost done with this gravity box here. There's out of 125, Henry Ellenson. What about some other, any other players that jump out at you that have been playing well? Someone mentioned Terrence Mann earlier. He's been looking pretty good during the, the seeding games here, the restart. There's ben Simmons right there. There's Aaron Gordon to 125. And Roni Cycli is the autograph. Great significance, I get it. That will be for Michael and the Miami Heat. Ryan Gomez, Dragic, you're right, Goran Dragic. Are we back on, on Dragic now? Sprained an ankle, but it looks like but I feel like he was playing a little bit. There's Markel Fultz to 125. Could Fultz have a little bit of a revival with a new team? Well, Kyle Kuzma, will he be the third option for the Lakers? They need that third option. I was watching the, the Lakers game against the Jazz the other night. Last night, maybe? That perimeter defending, I think, is going to be a big issue for the Lakers. There's Jason Tatum, rookie card for the Celtics. Zach Osh, nice. They have a, diff a little bit of difficulty defending the three. All right, uh, let's do some more retail here. Let's uh, bust open this 2019-2020 mosaic. A bunch of these cello packs here. The bubble works, folks. Zero percent. Testing positive. That's something that baseball, maybe baseball and, and football could learn from. The Utah Jazz, as I open up these packs, Utah Jazz beat the Grizzlies 124 to 115. Looks like the Grizzlies hopes uh, for looks like the Grizzlies hope for a playoff spot might might be diminishing here. Sixers, we were just watching that. Sixers just beat the Wizards 107-98. And the Nuggets beat the Spurs 132-126. to Michael Porter Jr., 30 points, 15 rebounds, and a block. That's nice. And the game before that, 37 points and 12 rebounds. So dust off your Michael Porter Jr. rookie cards because I'm sure... Those are going to be going up in price. Uh, games coming up, I think, on ESPN, maybe right now. It's going to happen right now. I can maybe click away from NBA TV, click over to ESPN, where we're going to have some basketball. 
No? Oh, is this... Oh, it's Thunder Lakers. So it's probably going to be on my... On Sportsnet. Spectrum Sportsnet, which is the Lakers network here. So yes, go to new channel, DirecTV. Should be voice activated. All right, there we go. So OKC, who's been playing great, are going to square off against the Lakers. I'm not sure what the Lakers are going to do here. They've got the one seed locked up. But they still need to tune up for the playoffs. They got to they got to work on that that three-point defense, that perimeter defense has been killing them. Uh, later tonight Raptors Magic. And then uh, a little bit after that will be uh, the Nets Celtics. I think that's it for our, our basketball games for tonight. So, speaking of the Thunder facing my Lakers, like dust off your uh, your Shea Gilgis Alexander. Although everyone, I feel like people have liked Shea Gilgis Alexander for a while, but Shea Gilgis Alexander's been looking good for that Thunder team. Chris Paul has been leading that team just incredibly well. Remember, everyone thought, oh, Chris Paul's just going to mail it in at OKC. He's not going to be happy. He's going to be grumpy. I don't know. Or he's just not going to fit there. It's just not going to work. But OKC not only got a boatload of picks, I think they got a decent number of picks from the Clippers for Paul George. They have Chris Paul. I don't know when his contract is out. Maybe he's got another year on that deal. Maybe he stay, sticks around. Or maybe they just trade him for more picks. But, but Shea Gilgis Alexander... Danilo Gallinari, Steven Adams, Darius Baisley's been playing some decent basketball. Andre Roberson is not too shabby. You know, he adds a lot of great defense to that team. There's a lot of good players on that team. Hamadou Diallo, he won a dunk contest, I want to say. I guess we'll see what's going on here. Just doing some shoot around here. So I think everyone else, you're going to have the ESPN broadcast. Uh, and I'm going to have the uh, the local Lakers Network broadcast because it's blacked out here. But we're in L.A. We're blacked out here. All right. This is 2019-20 right here. All right. Here we go. Good luck. There's LeBron. Green Joel Embiid. He had a good game today. And a base, John Morant. Nice. That is for... Dylan Dean, who won this spot and got randomized the Grizz in our eight box NBA bubble basketball mixer. RJ Barrett, NBA debut for the Knicks. There's John Moran, NBA debut green for Dylan Dean. Nice. Silver Kaliolinik. Jordan Poole, NBA debut Mosaic. Jackson Hayes. Again, Vet Commons won't chip except for Giannis, LeBron, Kobe, and second year uh, Doncic's. But obviously, if it's a silver, right, it'll still ship. It's a parallel. Obviously, rookie cards will all ship, inserts will all ship. Dennis Truder right here, Mosaic, Will Ship. You know, these old school inserts will ship, of course. Mason Plumley Green will ship. Will to Win, Giannis will ship. Kevin Durant will ship. Those Team USA cards will go to the teams that are that they are assigned to on groupratechecklist.com. It's usually the team they're currently on or if they're retired, the team they played for the longest. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory.
Cody Martin, green. LeBron James, Oscar Robertson. Kyle Guy Green. Kendrick Nunn, this is a guy that can improve his stock. You know, now and in the playoffs too. Dream on Green Silver will go. Bull Bull, how's he been looking? Bull Bull rookie, I know he's been looking good for a couple games, a lot of hype behind him. Nick Stober, Nuggets, is that hype still, still happening? Tyler Hero is another player right there. There's R.J. Barrett, just the base R.J. Barrett. Those are pretty good, too. Still has some upside. All right, here is the, the pink camos, which are exclusive to this uh, the cello packs. All of these, of course, will ship. They're parallels. other picks for you here basketball wise we've discussed these before I placed these picks a little while ago my other Eastern Conference champion pick long shot pick is the Boston Celtics at plus 600 and, I, and again Miami at plus 1800 place those investments a couple months before the restart most likely going to be the Bucks but I just wanted to find some value for the West most likely it's going to be the Clippers or Lakers, right? But the Western Conference champion long shots that I have, Houston, plus 1,000, 10 to 1. And then uh, 20 to 1, Dallas. Luka Doncic goes off. If Porzingis, you know, really clicks and looks like prime Porzingis, it could be a real interesting, real interesting and dangerous team right there too. Portland looking scary as well. I have Portland to win the eighth seed. But now I don't know even know if I want them to have the eighth seed. The Lakers have to deal with Lakers have to deal with Portland. And that outside shooting, they have a hard enough time defending the outside shot. That's not good. If you've got CJ McCollum and and uh and Dame out running around out there. I saw LeBron in here somewhere, right? There's Hachimura and LeBron. So all these LeBrons will go to Derek and the Lakers with the spot he bought straight up. There's Daniel with the Wizards. You'll get all those Hachimura rookie cards as well, including this one. People saying that Terrence Mann's been looking good. That's for the Clippers, Ryan Gomez. All right, let's get into some 2019-20 hoops right here. A lot, of, a lot of the talk around town. So Anthony Davis needs to be more aggressive. Maybe that's been something that he's always had to, had to be. But maybe he has to be a little more aggressive, assert his dominance in this, in this game. If the Lakers are to have postseason success. Read an article in the Athletic about Anthony Davis maybe maybe being a little too passive, maybe maybe passing when maybe he could have turned into the low post area and and attacked the basket a little bit more. Might need a little bit of some of that, but we'll see. Still still learning, I think. Still it's kind of scary to think that he still might be developing parts of his game. Lakers just need more from guys like KCP, guys like Alex Caruso. We're gonna get more minutes. Need to step up. Kyle Kuzma needs to step up. Oh, Anthony 
Davis losing the ball there a little bit, mishandling it. Oh, nice pass by Stephen Adams. So 2019-2020 hoops right here, hobby box. There's Schofield. There's Goga Batadze and Tony Kukoc. Autograph, hoops, ink, auto. Tony Kukoc. That's for Josh Zetz and the Bulls. His profile certainly went up with the last dance. Still works, still works for the Bulls, I think. Yeah, his auto not too sharp though. It looks like he was he was in the back seat of a car signing these, doesn't it? There's Kyrie Irving. Spark plugs. There's SGA right there. He's been looking good for OKC. And we got Ignis Bredzikas, hot signatures for the Knicks. Goes to Josh Zetz in the Knicks. There's Bataze to 99. Port side. Nice tray on. It's really cool photography. That's a cool shot right there. Luka Doncic, Eric Pascal, Reddish, Bruno, Anthony Davis, high voltage. And Zion Williamson. Rookie card. Tribute insert. Pelicans, that'll be for Zach Paul. As far as we know, no relation to Chris Paul, who's out on the court right now. John Morant, NBA hoops, ready for takeoff insert. Harden. John Morant rookie card. Nice. Dylan Dean with the Grizz. Another John Morant we got next. DeMar DeRozan high voltage. So more Grizzlies for Dylan Dean. All those add up.
Brandon Clark, Kobe White, Kyrie. Camera. I mean, these rookies, dust off any of those rookie cards. Might be worth just looking up just for the heck of it because, I mean, I've, I've seen like 25 cent cards turn into dollar cards. I've seen dollar cards turn into turn into two dollar cards, two dollar cards turn into five dollar cards, so on and so forth. Like, you know, d don't really even have to. We'll do a left right randomizer on that. We don't even really have to be a player that's been going off. It's just you might be surprised. Even some even non rookie cards as well. Kevin Porter Jr. to one ninety nine. There's Michael Porter Jr. second year card here. All right, so now we're getting into some of the good stuff here. What should we do? Maybe that select? I like that select. Maybe we should do maybe some mosaic right here. We'll do uh, 16, 17 mosaic, 17, 18 mosaic. And we'll do some crown, select, and we'll end with the mosaic hobby. Almost done here with our eight box NBA bubble basketball mixer, ladies and gentlemen, from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, and of course, all of these cards will ship. We got Buddy healed as a Pelican autograph. There you go. The, the brief time he was there. That goes to Zach Paul and the Pels. You know, playing pretty well for, uh, for Sacramento now. Derek Favors and Kevin Durant. Devin Booker playing some good basketball. That game winner the other night was really strong. Jazz edition of Gordon Hayward. Rudy Gay, Gordon Hayward. Kawhi as a spur. There's Giannis. Sixteen, seventeen. Well, almost looks kind of skinny there, doesn't he, Giannis? Chris Dunn, Dame, John Wall, Ben Simmons rookie card, LeBron, and Derrick Rose. So there, that's Cavs LeBron going to Asa, and the Ben Simmons rookie goes to Matt, Matt Hageman. Now the significance of this is that Ben Simmons autographs are exclusive to Upper Deck. So consequently, all of his like rookie cards and stuff from Panini. It's a lot of value, especially especially that year, 16, 17. I think they still do now, but but yeah, pretty nice. All right, now 1718 Prism Mosaic. That's what Mosaic used to look like before they went that that route. All right, good luck, everybody. All right, so 17, 18. Jason Tatum hunting here. There's Harry Giles. I'm glad they kind of lighten up the design a little bit here. It's sort of hard to see. Kuz, LeBron. It's almost if, as if Panini knew the future. It's Cavs LeBron that'll go to Asa, and then rookie Kyle Kuzma, Derek Dean. As a Lakers fan, really looking forward to, to him really turning up in the playoffs. 
cement himself as that third option would be really nice. He could do it. Oh, do we have some Celtics coming? Looks like Celtics green there. Behind Ben Simmons is Jason Tatum. 78 out of 99. Autograph. Out of 1718, Prism Mosaic Basketball. That is strong. Zachary Ghosh, who won that spot in Mosaic Cello 315, got randomized the Celtics. And this is the last 1718 box that we have right here. His rookie year, obviously. And numbered 78 out of 99, just 78 off his jersey number. He's one of the guys whose value at the beginning of the 1920 hoop season was steadily increasing throughout the year. And then once the pandemic hit, that just really skyrocketed. Everyone's all over Jason Tatum. So he needs to just have a strong playoff. That would be hashtag good for the hobby. All right, Crown Royale. This is 2019-2020. Crown Royale. And then we'll flip back to 1819, then come back to 1920, Mosaic to close things out. I saw the numbering on that Tatum back there. I thought I was just gonna get trolled. I thought it was just gonna be an insert or something. It still would've been nice, but autograph is pretty strong. We got DeAndre Hunter, rookie die cut for the Hawks. That'll be for Scott. Sixty-four out of ninety-nine. We got rookie royalty, PJ Washington, twenty-two out of ninety-nine for the Charlotte Hornets. Sean, this must have been a fun photo shoot. They like with the the big throne there. We got Steph Curry, Knights of the Round Table relic, going to the Warriors. Ryan Shackleton. Jalen Noel looks like your autograph. Yep, your die cut auto, 32 out of 49. That is for the T-Wolves, Kevin, with that one. And Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday. All right, 1819 Select Basketball. Last chance for uh, rookie Dantich, rookie Trey Young, so on and so forth. Nice move with five seconds left by Anthony Davis. That might be a little, little bit of a travel there. All right. Select. There is Wes Matthews for the Mavs to 175 die cut. DeAndre Ayton, rookie card. Iguodala, Grayson Allen, Kuz. DeAndre Ayton. Sons, Robert Runkle, another player that's been looking looking pretty good just this season. In general, he's been made a lot of improvements. We've got Giannis Antetokounmpo. 
The red, yellow, and silver right there. That's pretty cool. Bucks. That's going to be for Tice. You'll get this among the other Giannis's out here too. These add up as well. There's Grayson Allen. Jerome Robinson. And a Luka Doncic relic. For the Mavs, that'll be for Adam Kelly. Tony Parker, Lou Williams, Lonnie Walker, Hamadou Diallo to 299 for the Thunder, Joel Embiid. Malik Monk. There's a rookie, Trey Young, right there. Kevin Huter, his teammate. Nice. Scott Mulholland, rookie card. Trey Young, ice Trey. Concourse level right here. Got Alan Crabb for the Portland Trailblazers. Throwback memorabilia. That'll be for John McCall in Portland. And we got Mr. Wendell. Mr. Wendell, jersey and autograph for the Bulls. That's for Josh Zetz, Wendell Carter Jr. 122 to 199. Miritich, Avery Bradley, tie-dye. It's a nice looking card. It's to 25. That's the player uh, that the Lakers need to defend the perimeter, but he opted out. Family stuff, I get it, it's all good. Everyone else has to step up. There's Ben Simmons Silver and Shea Gilgis Alexander, rookie. Ryan Gomez with the SGA. People really like him too. Still Clippers edition though, so yeah, still goes to Ryan. Sam Strayer saying a BGS 910 Tatum rookie mosaic auto of out of 99 sold for 750 on August 1st. Wow. Yeah, it's a very nice hit for Zach. All right, and the final box before we give away that Kevin Durant. So if you've not been having a good break, cross your fingers. You still have an opportunity for this. This is over a thousand dollar value right here. So it'll it'll turn your break around really quickly. All right, here's the last box of the break, though. Back to 2019-2020, the current rookie class. Zions, Ja Morant, so on and so forth. Uh, we'll, we'll go through orders after this, and then we'll see what else we have sold out. Okay, see up 20 to 14 on my Lakers. Three minutes up in the first quarter, very early. OKC has been a dangerous looking team. Another open three from the, come on Lakers. Okie doke. Last box. Good luck. Harrison Barnes, Neil Gallinari, Angelo Russell, Cam Johnson, Cam Reddish. Like someone mentioned Cameron Johnson playing some good basketball too. Luka Doncic, second year. Adam Kelly and the Mavs. They'll still carry some a little bit of weight too. And we've got a 
38 out of 49, Purple Mosaic, Donovan Mitchell. It's a good looking card for Colin. Cameron Johnson in it to win it, Anthony Davis. For the Lakers, that'll be for Derek. Alan Horton Tucker, Miles Bridges, introductions Tyler Hero, Schofield, Kobe White. Chamberlain, Malone, Montage, Jason Tatum. NBA debut, John Morant, nice. And we've got something for the Clippers coming up. An autograph, maybe? Uh, Dylan Dean, Grizz. And it is an autograph for the Clippers. Mafondu, Cabin, Cabin Gelly. That'll be for Ryan Gomez and the Clip Show. And a mosaic, Dantich. Nice. It's another one for Adam Kelly and the Dallas Mavericks. It's better than that base one. There you go. Jeremy Lamb, red. Kemba. We got Kyle Kuzma, 99 out of 99. And we've got a Luka Doncic Stairmasters for Adam Kelly. And the Mavs. Hachimura, NBA debut. Jarrett Culver, NBA debut. And John Morant, red. What does that go for? Just a regular John Morant, but a red parallel, not an NBA debut. That's pretty nice. Dylan Dean with the Grizz. He won that spot, too. Darius Garland, rookie silver. Asa with the Cavs. Brendan Clark, Bridzikis, Jonas, Valanchunas, Anurobi, Embiid, Trey, Quindaria Weatherspoon, Kendrick Nunn, Silver Wiggins, Magic Johnson, LeBron, Tyler Hero, Giannis MVPs, and Cam British MVP or uh, NBA debut at the very end. All right, so a lot of fun stuff there, a lot of value in this basketball. Thanks, everyone, for watching and breaking with us. That was our 8-box NBA bubble basketball mixer. Let me put this away and do a couple quick randomizers here. All right, so we got a left-right randomizer there for that and any other left-right cards. And then, of course, that. No points in this as well, which is pretty nice. I have some blank lists here. All right, so let's go back to random.org. Let's go left, right on the randomizer here. And then the name on top, let's re-randomize everyone's names from Scott down to Daniel, Hawks down to Wizards. And let's roll it and randomize each list, one and a four, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. So any of those two team cards, the left side will get all of those. All right, so left side cards. And here we go, the moment you've been waiting for, one and a four, five times for the Kevin Durant rookie card. BGS nine, five, five times. Name on top gets it. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, big thanks to everybody else here on this list, two through 30, for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. Um, we're always going to have mixers like this, so keep looking on jazbeescasebreaks.com if you missed out on this one. Congrats to Christian Woodland. I don't think I called your name all break. You won a spotted Mosaic Cello 315, 
and you parlayed that into this Kevin Durant 2007-2008 Topps Chrome Basketball rookie card graded a 9.5 centering edges corners all a 9.5 surfaces a 9 some scratches on the on the uh, on the encasing part itself but there you go yeah who did you have Christian yeah I don't think I you had the magic there might have been like a Mo Bamba rookie in there somewhere in there but I think I don't think I called your name out all break so there you go man very nice I think this goes for over a thousand dollars on the secondary market could grow too could grow in value once he starts playing again regularly and there you have it boys and girls Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. That was the 8-Box NBA Bubble Basketball Mixer. Hoops is back. I'm happy about that. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.